You know that expression, you learn something new every day? Well, here on Paige's Lessons, I'm going to share with you a variety of insights and self-reflections that will inspire and motivate you to rethink how you process and experience life. I'll be giving my best advice on topics such as relationships, career, and overall life transitions. I can't wait to share these golden nuggets with you. Let's get started. Sometimes your pride needs to take the back seat. And I say that with firsthand experience that pride definitely is, it could be a weakness, let's be honest. It could definitely be a, an ego thing that makes you lose sight of the bigger picture. And in this episode, I just want to keep it really short and sweet that take a look at your pride. Is there something that you are really proud of, whether that is a project or maybe you're really proud of an accomplishment or you're proud of a certain part of your personality? For me, there was a Without going into too much detail, there was a opportunity that I could have spoke up um, and instead I, I silenced. I, I felt really shut down and I didn't really stand up to stand up for myself. But it was because honestly pride got in the way and um, now I'm at this point where... I'm just kind of letting it go because it, it doesn't really matter anymore. My my reputation or my honor or whatever the hell, like, it's kind of just, it just doesn't really matter at, with this particular thing. And I know I'm being pretty cryptic here. I'm not explaining what happened and um, it, it doesn't really matter. I just want you to think about what are you... What are you willing to put your pride at the door? I think it's important to be proud of your accomplishments and being proud of who you are. Like, that's not a crime. I'm not saying, like, don't have any pride at all. But I definitely know when, for me, my pride is I'm I'm letting that be more important than the task at hand or like I said the bigger picture. So if you struggle with pride, what's that about? Why do you think that exists? Is that something that maybe whoever raised you struggles with pride or um, something you picked up from your friends or even a movie. Um, I, I'd be curious to know where does that pride come from? What's the big deal? Uh, for me, it's, it's definitely a personality thing and it's definitely um, a family cultural, culture standpoint of this, this, this pride. But I think it's a I think it's an interesting concept of how pride can get us into trouble. Pride can make us lose sight of what's really in front of us because you know, you're too proud. You're too proud to admit to your mistakes. You're too proud to I don't know. It it could be really anything, but moral of this story And the lesson I want you to take away is what is the cost of your pride? Is it worth the trouble that you make it to be? And if there's any way of surrendering or letting go of your pride for the greater good, for whatever the task is, can you do that? Are you willing to give it up? It's definitely not an easy decision, but sometimes it's just not worth it. It's not worth the fight. It's not worth 
the stress that we put on ourselves just because we're proud. Um, you know, we hold pride like a badge of honor. And sometimes I'd say it's appropriate, sometimes not. So take a look at your pride. See where it does come in handy. See where you can be proud of, like I said, a project, your accomplishments, your family, who you are. There's nothing wrong with that. Like definitely own up to who you are. But that includes all aspects of yourself too. It's not just the the pretty characteristics or adjectives you describe yourself, right? So be really honest with your pride and see how you can challenge that. See how you can use, um, use your pride as an opportunity to grow. If this podcast truly resonates with you, take a screenshot of the episode and share it on your social media story. Tag me on Instagram or Facebook And my handle is at pagemitchell.coach. I'm so excited to see what you shared and connect with you. Thank you so much for listening. And until next time, take care.